Hey folks, Jason here. Welcome to Timber Falls, home for CNC creators like you. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to improve your bitmap to vector conversion. This is where you want to take a picture or a bitmap and you want to create vectors from, but the picture is poor quality. I have imported this Combat Vets Association patch. A friend of mine wants me to carve this out. If we zoom in on the patch, we can see that the colors in the patch are, are really sporadic and it's not a very high quality picture. It's actually a very low quality picture. It's just taken as a photograph of the patch. And you can see we have all these colors inside of here. If we open our bitmap to vector tool and we just reduce colors, you can instantly see that the bitmap to vector tool drops it down to 32 colors and it's already trying to combine like colors and we already see that we have some yellow bleeding in with the red which this may be okay if we're just tracing the black but we have some black combined with some of these other colors if we bring this all the way down we can see that we're losing some of those colors and our background is getting mixed in there's still a lot of pixels and stuff that weren't captured here and it's not necessarily the cleanest of bitmaps changed into a vector so what I want to do is show you a different way to combine all of these colors and instead of using the bitmap to vector tool we're basically going to do this manually if i go up here to my bitmap tab i have my pick color one now basically the pick color wand works on any color that you click on. So if I click on a particular color, that creates that color as my primary. Now I can hold shift down and click on another color and that second color becomes my secondary. And you may be able to understand where we're going with this. But now that I'm able to pick the colors, I can simply click my combine button and those two colors are combined. Now keeping this main red as my primary color, I can then hold shift, click on say this dark red, click combine, and now we've combined those colors. And I can go around and find different color pixels inside of this red, click combine, and we're just moving along and picking them. Now, I want to warn you that sometimes the color picker has a hard time finding the boundaries of these pixels, so sometimes it doesn't always pick them up. You may have to click around to find that exact color, but as you start to move along, you should be able to see a lot of these different colors in your bitmap. And then I can also do the same thing with the dark colors. If I pick the black and make that my primary, then I can just come over here and click, start clicking some of these secondary colors. And we're just capturing those and turning those to black. And find some more colors to combine. And we're just working through our project combining the colors that we want to trace. So in order to get a good trace of this, I basically need a trace of the red and I need a trace of the black. And we're slowly combining all of our colors. We're just going along and we're just finding colors that we want to add and combine. And this is going to help us clean this up. And then once we have enough of those combined, we can just simply use our bitmap to vector tool. We'll have a primary color of black and we have our primary color of red. Go to my 3D view and I'll just click my display material bitmap and then I can sort of get rid of uh, a lot of this stuff that I didn't need. So we can just get rid of all this, all this, this, 
Now, there's a lot of little circles in here. We're going to go right up here to our vector doctor, and we're going to close vectors smaller than 0 0.05. So I'm just going to click that, and all these little circles that are smaller than 0 0.05, we can just get rid of those. Now, we want to keep the R, so let's unselect that, and then let's just delete. And then we can get rid of also some of our lines that we didn't need here. Now, this was a little off-centered, so we just bring it down a bit using our arrow keys. And there we have it. Now, I probably would go back in and redo the text, but I do have a nice trace of the spade and the skull and a general size of the circle. Guys, if you find this video helpful, consider subscribing to the channel. Hit the likes up button and comment down below for things that you'd like for us to cover. Thanks guys. Let's keep making bit happen and I'll see you on the next one.